Welcome back to Door King Tech Tips. Today we will be looking at how to set up a security level to restrict access to your residents and vendors. Let's get started by navigating to the security level page. To do this, click the plus sign next to your account on the left. Then click the plus sign next to system information under your account folder. You should now see the security level tab to click on. As you can see, the security level page is broken up into four sections. Security level, time, relays, and floors. You will also see your relay names off to the right if you have previously named them. If your relays are not showing here, please see our video how to's on how do I name my doors and gates in the cloud. The first section is security levels. This tells us the factory set security levels, 00 for always disabled or no access, 01 which is 24 hour access, typically maintenance, managers and staff. Then your first user defined security level along with the four different time zones for your security level. For user defined security levels you have 29 different levels you can program and assign. Each security level allows you four different time zones. The different time zones allow you to set different times for different doors, gates, and relays. So you can have a pool or gym on your property that has restricted hours that would be one time zone. Then your front gate, which is 24 hour access, would be another time zone. The next section, time, is where they set the time for the different time zones in your security level. In this section, it is important to remember a few things. When setting your times, the begin time is when their access will start, and the end time is when their access will stop. Also, when setting times, it is important that you do not go over the midnight hour. If you need to give someone restricted access over the midnight hour, their access would need to span two time zones. Like I have here, time zone 1, 10 p.m. to 11.59 p.m., then second time zone, 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. The last thing in the time section is to select what days of the week they will have access. If setting a 24 hour access time zone, like the example here, your begin time is 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. with all the days of the week checked. For the relay section, this is where you will select what relays, doors, and gates the security level will have access to during its scheduled time. This is also where the naming of your relays will come in handy. So if your relay names are not showing, please see our other DKS cloud video under the video how to's on how to name your relays. The last section in security levels is floors. Most of the time this section won't be used as this section deals with elevator controls. I will mention if using elevators, you must use a security level of 0, 2 through 30 so that you can assign a floor. Security level 01 will not work with elevators. Here is an example of a typical resident security level. We have security level 02 time zone 1 selected, a time of 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day of the week for relays 3 and 4 which are the gym and pool. Then if I switch to time zone 2 for the same security level 02 we have 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. 24 hours a day and every day of the week relays 1 and 5 which is the front gate and the second floor garage. With your security level set up don't forget to click save at the bottom of the page. Now that you have saved the security level let's assign it to a resident by clicking resident on the left. To use your new security level, go ahead and select a resident to assign it to by clicking on their name. This should bring up their file below where you can edit their SL and change it to the new O2 security level we created. Don't forget to click save at the bottom of the page. Congratulations, you have successfully created a new security level and assigned it to a resident. All that's left now is to send data to the unit and check to make sure everything is working as you intended. And we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.